Symmetry and fractions. So we have some shapes here and we've got to try and sort out the symmetry of them. So we'll show you two more triangles to make a pattern with one line of symmetry. So if we think about the line of symmetry be coming down the middle of this shape, then this triangle here will reflect onto this triangle. So we shade that one in badly. And then this triangle will reflect onto this one, so we need to shade that in. I'm just going to do it roughly. Okay, then we just need to check whether that has only one line of symmetry. Is this the only line? So if we look this way, these two don't match, which is good. And if we look this way, these two don't match, which is good. So yes, that only has the one line of symmetry. And you just got to try different ones until you find one that works. But that one luckily worked first time. Now, um, shade two more triangles uh, to make a pattern with rotational symmetry order three on this one. So rotational symmetry means if we spin the shape around that it fits on top of itself one, two, three times. Um, but at the moment if I spin it around so it fits there then we can see hopefully, let's just move that down a bit so we can see um, that, that shaded, these two shaded shapes here that were over there, um, it's not matching anymore so this one needs to be shaded so hopefully we can see as we spin it around and again um, that shape there needs to be shaded and also the corners to get them to fit onto each other so it starts off with um, a blank corner here but when I move this one down that needs to be shaded in so that it matches and it matches there. So what we need to do is we need to color in this one here. Let's just shade it. Let's just do a, do a, um, a shading like that, and that one there. So that those three will spin onto each other, and these outer three will spin onto each other. Okay, so that gives us rotational symmetry order three. Okay, so now we've got to do um, part C, which is a fraction question. What fraction of the above shape is shaded? Um, Got to be careful that we don't count this as one triangle. If we just draw in the triangles, so we know exactly that all the triangles are the same. How many are shaded in? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of... Well, we have those 9 plus this one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got 9 out of 16 showed it. That doesn't cancel down, so we just write 9 out of 16. Now there is one mark if you have either the 9 or the 16 um, uh, with certain conditions. So that, so that the top number, if you've got the 16, the top number is less than 16. Or if you've got the top, the top number 9, the bottom number has to be bigger than 9. If you get one method mark, but to get both marks, you need the 9 and the 16. Here's part D of this question. Um, we've got the same shape. Now we're told that uh, it's made out of wire. All the triangles are equilateral, that means all the sides are the same. The perimeter of the outside shape is 24 centimeters. Work out the total length of wire needed to make the shape. So if we can work out the length of one of these pieces, we can then count them all up and times by the length of one. So the outside of the shape is 24, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then another 4, and then another 4. So we've got 3 times 4, which is 12 tri uh, sides, and 12 is equal to 24 centimetres. So one side equals 2 centimetres. So all we need to do is count up the sides now. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 sides. So we've got 27 times by 2, which is 54 centimeters. Now we could do it if we don't really need to count the outsides again. We could just count the insides, each being 2. Um, but just to completeness and you've got to check this very carefully make sure you haven't missed anything out show you working forgetting that two sides um, you certainly got a mark for working out that one side equals two 
and then some way of showing how many things you're adding up um, 27 times by 2 and the 54 for the answer